Hey, English 104 students, particularly my Tuesday and Thursday classes, this announcement is largely for you uh, because we're on a little bit of a different schedule, not really schedule, but additional assignment that we need to complete because we have that snow day. So you do get to see my face one more time this week. Um, unfortunately, maybe, but uh, hopefully this will help you through the uh, weekend and get us moving into next week a little more fluidly so we don't get too far behind, just largely because we, uh, we can't afford to lose too much time and we'll adjust as needed but I think right now this assignment will help us keep on track so I'll review that make sure I review the stuff from uh, week seven moving into week eight so that you know what's going on and uh, what you should be paying attention to okay so uh, try to make it as quick and, uh, and painless as possible so I'll share my screen with you all right, so this is what our Moodle page looks like. Just a couple heads up as we look through here, a journal four is posted. So when you click on the journal area, you'll see that journal four is posted right here. Um, and then largely we're gonna be spending time in class, just so you're aware on Tuesday, talking about this very idea of summarizing a text. Um, the videos that you'll watch for next class period should also help you with summarizing a text. So you should be able to complete this fairly easily after uh, perhaps next class period or after watching and doing the homework, okay? Uh, so journal four is here, that's due for us on Thursday uh, at 11.59 p.m., okay? Uh, let's see here, if we look at the announcement area, a couple things I wanna bring our attention to, and that is one, an extra credit opportunity that's coming up next week, which is the Black Panther film, and that takes place on Wednesday the 4th at 4.30 in the SAC Theater. It's sponsored by the Communication Department and the English Club, so you'll notice it's right here. So there is an extra credit opportunity associated with that should you attend and then do the follow-up assignment, okay? Uh, let's see here, I'm gonna go back to the announcement area. The schedule is posted there, but we do have one additional assignment to add to that, which largely, unfortunately, means we're adding it into week eight, and so it'll come due for us on Tuesday. Okay, and that's the assignment that I'll cover in this video. So if we scroll down, we've got a couple things coming due for us in week eight. Um, one of them is the notes for two sources. So that is basically what we talked about in terms of annotating a source uh, through an electronic document. You have two of those that you're going to show me in class and I'll spot check those, okay? We talked about that at the end of uh, our last class, I believe. Um, we have uh, the research notes template assignment coming due, which I'll cover again in this video uh, quickly so that you uh, understand how to make it through that. And then you have two videos to watch, okay? Now on Thursday, we have have uh, the evaluating web sources worksheet uh, that came due and we have the evaluating the databases worksheet that came due. If you didn't get those done, just so you're aware, I am extending those for us until uh, Sunday at 11.59 p.m. So you do have the chance to submit those a little later if you need to, all right? Um, so please watch these videos here, which will help us move into next class period and then watch these videos too. The other things are right on Moodle, so I will continue forward with that. If we click into the annotated bib, you'll notice that we've got this video, this video um, that I'm asking you to watch, and those were for last class period, so rewatch them moving into next class period. And then you'll see these two videos down here, which you need to watch to, uh, to largely uh, work through the material that we'll have for next class period. You'll notice that this one right here, as well as this one, will probably help you with your annotated, um, uh, not your annotated bib, but yes, your annotated bib too, but your uh, journal four, okay? Now, these are things that we're going to cover in class, which is all the way from the uh, citation guide all the way down to the works cited practice Google Doc. We'll work on that in class. So we'll handle those. But if we look further down, we've got a couple things that I need to make sure that we're aware of. Remember, these are extended until Sunday at 11.59 p.m. The research note template is the thing that's coming due along with the notes uh, for those two sources that you're choosing. So there's a student sample right here. And then the research notes template is what I'm asking you to fill out for two of your sources that you are finding, largely so I can check to make sure that you are um, doing those sources, you're researching them, and we're not late, waiting until the last minute, but also so that I can help you along the way. You'll notice there's a lot of basic information, um, and largely it's asking you to identify the type of source, but also the author, the title, and then really give um, the main arguments 
and how that information is used, and then any important quotations. And so we'll continue to talk about those things, but I want you to give this a shot, uh, and largely this will come due for us on Tuesday at the beginning of our class. So you'll notice the due time is listed here, but that's because I'm on a specific Moodle page right now. So just know it comes due Tuesday at the beginning of our class. Student sample is listed right here uh, if you're not sure how to accomplish that. If I go back for a moment, this is the snow day assignment. Uh, so this is what I'm asking you to complete in lieu of the day that we missed. Um, these are all here for you to click on. These are linked uh, up here as well. And there's a video that will hopefully help you through that assignment. So this will come due for us on the, when you click into that assignment, you'll see you've got the worksheet right here that will help us move through next class period a little bit quicker and so we can still cover the other things and stay on track. So this will come due for us next class period uh, at the beginning of class. All right, and there's a video here that you can watch to make sure you're understanding what's going on with that. Um, there has been feedback posted on your, let's see here, I believe it's the, um, uh, it is, let's see, the reading, yeah, the reading strengths and weaknesses. So there is a uh, feedback set of comments that's been given to you. It's got some videos in there that you can watch. So hopefully engaging you more with the video level will help you um, navigate through this material and understand it a little better since especially we missed a day um, in class. Other than that, I look forward to seeing you all next week. And please email me if you have any questions. Thanks, everyone.